Hello, Rom Mithril here once again, getting back to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. It's time to check out Zephyr. This stage can be a bit of a thing if you're trying to keep a no-damage streak alive. The enemies here are pretty dangerous. The stage is sort of a continuation of Breeze Harbor, once more giving us the story of the war between the Breeze Builders and the Land Blubbers. This time, though, the birds are the enemies. We're back to the status quo. We knew that alliance couldn't last forever. And bombs are delicious. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The Breeze Builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. So after helping the Breeze Builders last time, this time we're kind of playing double agent. All right. So this is a fairly large stage with one talisman, 400 gems, 30 enemies, and 4 orbs. No skill point, though. We're immediately introduced to some rather dangerous enemies. The baby birds fire tracking missiles at you. They're fed to them by the swooping birds in the air. So essentially you just have to find a good time to get in and make your attack. If you get too close to the baby birds, they can also just smack you with their wings. So they have all kinds of ways to attack you. Even just the start of the stage is kind of dangerous overall. You can if you want flame the missiles, but it's kind of risky. Even once all the baby birds are gone, the danger isn't over just yet. Now that they don't have any babies to feed, the swooping birds will come after you themselves. Just give them some room to dive bomb you so that you can jump up and flame them. For fodder animals here, we have caterpillars. Yes, just flame the caterpillar, kill it, and it turns into a butterfly. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? More birds. Nice curve on that one. Now these swooping birds, they still have one baby bird that's under their control right over there. So as long as we don't defeat that one, the swooping birds won't actually attack us. We can kind of use this to our advantage. It's a little tricky to get the aim just right here. But it is doable. And with that, we've taken out your food source. So, you can't fire any more missiles. So with that danger eliminated, time to get more gems. Once again, we have cannons to play with. They're good for taking out enemies, blasting open doorways, though it can be a little bit finicky to get the hitbox right on that. For some reason, they are very picky about the doors. You can also pop balloons and destroy banded chests. The multi-purpose cannon! Order yours today! I think a gem from the bottle ends up down here. Yeah, there we go. that, we have a few gems to collect. Always a good time.
And now we can continue on. These enemies are kind of similar to some ones we saw in the first game. Just time getting in to blast them between the barrels that they throw. Some will actually roll the barrels, others, they just immediately detonate. So it kind of pays to hang back a bit to see exactly what you're dealing with. And here we just have a baby bird chasing a caterpillar. My butterfly! The baby birds here don't have anybody feeding them missiles, so just watch out for the wing attack if you get too close. With all the explosions, this is a very hectic stage. We'll worry about where that bottle ended up a bit later on. Roll out the barrel. There are a couple of swooping birds out there that make this part a little bit finicky. Coming this way, we have a one-up butterfly. Now be careful coming around this corner. We have somebody else rolling barrels at us. And another one at the top of this ramp. Funny thing is, if you get to the side of them, they can't do anything to you. Oh, come on, open up. We can take these guys out from a distance. Of course, they have to cooperate a little bit. There we go. And now we just blast open this door. I, uh, guess we took out the munitions building. So let's just gather up all the treasure we got earlier. And head on over here. Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh, yeah. The colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. And so there we go. We got the talisman. Of course, we're not done just yet. We haven't seen any of the orbs yet. So with all that taken care of, time to head down here. My name is Little Bo Peep. And I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? So, we have to go track down some cowlicks. We have to find five of them. This would be a cowlick. They'll constantly try and move away from you. If you flame them, they jump forward. So, we just have to get them in the pen. Be 
basically it's just a puzzle of figuring out how to get them over various platforms and obstacles. One notable thing about the cowlicks is they will not fall down platforms unless you guide them to do so. You can also charge into a cowlick to thrust it forward a bit more. Sometimes, though, they will get in each other's ways. Get in there. So that's three down. So now we'll come up this ladder. Be cautious doing this, though, because there's a couple of swooping birds in here. There we go. So, more treasure. And a couple of cowlicks. The tricky bit, though, we can't send them high enough to get them out of those pits. Luckily, we have some help with this. First, let's just go ahead and get this. But if you hit a cowlick with the super flame power-up, they jump a lot higher. Oh, get up there. Okay, they're both up there. That's where I needed them. And that's all we really need with the Super Flame power-up. We do have some other things we need to do in here, though, first such as hitting this mystery jar. We'll worry about that later. We also still need to glide over here to get the last gem from the banded chests that we broke open. Now we can get out of here. And we can take our Calyx with us. This way, guys. Now, this is a prime example of sometimes you need to motivate them to go down a platform. That's four Calyx. And five. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something, you know. And so, we get an orb. There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. So, we're not quite done just yet. We need to find two more cowlicks. The last two cowlicks are actually close to where we need to go for the rest of the stuff in this stage anyway. And that would be over here. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. So, we need to find the professor. a couple of baby birds here, but since they don't have anything feeding them, after one bomb, you just have to be cautious about being too close to them. Just want to run around real quick and make sure that I find all the treasure. Yeah, 
And there's a Cowlick. We're going to go ahead and get him staged where he needs to be. This is an example of where sometimes you need the distance gained by charging into a Cowlick so that they can clear this pit. He'll stay over there as long as we need him to. So we'll just clean up some gems here. And there's the other cowlick. I'm going to go ahead and stage him before we talk to the professor. Because what the professor wants us for, that's actually going to take away our flame breath, so it's going to make it harder to get this guy to move around a bit. So let's just handle this first. And there we go. So now, back to the professor. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, uh, I mean seed, for you in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Aiming the seed by holding down the triangle button will make this easier. Oh, and if you ever need your seed back, just flame the plant, and it will turn back into a seed again. So, plant seeds to climb to Juliet. It's also worth noting that if at any time you feel like you've messed up too bad, you can also just talk to the professor and he'll kind of reset things for you. Now, tempting as it is to just go ahead and plant the seed here, we actually need this one elsewhere. We're not going to be able to do much with just one single seed. So if we come over here to this out of the way location, we can hop up here and that gets us another seed. There's probably ways to cut back on how long this takes just by doing double jumps, but I'm going to go ahead and do this the, the, uh, the legitimate way. That's the word I was looking for. We still need this seed, though, as well. So let's go back here, flame the plant, and reclaim the seed. Something about the look of the seeds, it kind of reminds me of one of the berries from Pokemon. I'm not sure which one, though. So now we can plant a seed here. And thus, using some stepping stones, we can get over here and get another seed. From here, we can make another plant and climb even higher to get yet another seed. To make yet another plant. And climb even higher and deal with the last two birds in the stage. So that's all 30 enemies dealt with. And we get another seed. So let's go over here. And so, halfway point orb. And two more seeds. The 
first one we actually need to stage. We're gonna need to just put it up here out of the way for a moment. Now we take the other one, and we go back up there again. Plant this one. And now we can grab this seed again. Because there's just one final plant here. bet you have a lovely singing voice. And so that's three orbs down. So that time to get out of here. Well, you seem convinced you're already married, then. So all that's left as far as orbs here is cow-like delivery. So head him up and move him out. Huh. Well, that might be a problem. At least the whirlwind isn't moving it away from me. Get off of there. <laughs> that would have been kind of funny if that had worked. <laughs> I don't necessarily know what you would have done with that, but it would have been funny anyway. So that's six. And seven. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. And so that's the fourth orb. And yet still we have one last task to take care of. We still have a mystery jar to deal with. Still, now that we've dealt with all the breeze builders, Zephyr is actually rather pleasant. They want you going all the way back. That Zephyr complete. So, we got the Ruby Bomb, 400 gems and four orbs. Excellent. So now we just need to get out of here. Simple enough with everything out of the way. Technically, you could just go in the guidebook and say exit level at this point, but I want to do things right. We went to the trouble of opening that portal. 
I'm gonna use it. Besides, I do like the music in this stage. And out we go. Wily e. Coyote wishes that actually worked for him. So, yeah, that stage was a bit of a thing. But, at least, we're done. So, time to move to the next cutoff point. We'll have to come up here for this one. We've dealt with all the gates outside of the palace, castle, mansion, whatever you want to call this thing. I mean, Moneybags lives here, so I hesitate to call this a castle. I really don't like the idea of him having any sort of government power. But anyway, next time we're going to check out Scorch. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.